Did, did you get raw, actually? Hmm? Did you get raw? Because mine is raw. This uh, place is not okay. Awesome! When you watched the premiere of season two of The Single Life and saw this guy, you either thought one of two things. Who the f*** is that? Or, oh, it's the guy who got mad at a steak and flew from Amsterdam to New York just to break up with Darcy. You don't love me, you never did, you liar! Get out of my life! Yeah, it's that guy. My name is Jesse, I'm 28 years old, and I live in Kazan, Russia. He's originally from Amsterdam and is a traveling entrepreneur. I would describe myself as an adventurous, open-minded person and loves to see the world and uh, enjoy the finer things of life. Oh yeah, he's also really into himself. I'm just like, how do I say that? The complete package? And a narcissist. Everything happens for a reason. And everything is a lesson for us to be better. That is one of the things that I learned with my ex. Darcy and Jesse met online five years ago and appeared on season one of Before the 90 Days. When I first saw Darcy's pictures, I was like, wow, she's really cute. But it was a little different when, you know, she came to the airport. Darcy flew to Amsterdam to meet Jesse for the first time. And Jesse says she didn't look how he expected. Now, Jesse says a lot of things, and he's a dick. But with Darcy's known photoshopping history, I'm actually curious if he's telling the truth about this. Leave a comment let me know what you think. Either way, I think she looks beautiful in her episodes with Jesse, and it's sad that she thinks she needed plastic surgery. Anyways, he said he tried to make it work, but his controlling behavior and her insecurity made for a toxic relationship. But I just want to ask you a really strict question, and that is to never drink again. And even though they were having a lot of issues and only spent six weeks together, Darcy still hoped for an engagement, which led to one of the weirdest proposal moments in 90 Day history. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is not an engagement ring. Apparently, this was a promise ring. And I remember even watching this in 2017 thinking, TLC has to be messing with us. I swear too that Jesse was trying not to laugh. Darcy left Amsterdam without a real engagement. And at the tell-all, we learn that their relationship has gotten more toxic than ever. If you want this life with me, let's go for it. But quit the And even though they can't be on camera for more than a minute without Jesse having a tantrum, they stay together for season two. Jesse comes to New York to spend time with Darcy in the U.S. But tensions rise quickly when Jesse seems more interested in being in the U.S. than seeing Darcy. He was happy to see me, but I think he was more excited about just being in America, not so much seeing me. But her constant need for validation from Jesse was hard to watch. I like my makeup. Honey, you know I like you without makeup is not Work. for everybody. But anyway, if you're a natural beauty, you should. Embrace I'm just it. accentuating my natural beauty. Simple tasks like going out for pizza starts a fight. You sure. should do the same okay. thing. Take your own advice. I'm done talking to you. Mm -hmm. I wanna, I wanna that enjoy, doesn't, that doesn't I wanna enjoy New York. I am done with you. Bye -bye. Okay, bye. And the plan for Jesse to have dinner with Darcy and her daughters is ruined by a steak. Cut it on a bias that is slant. It saves the juice. I've worked in restaurants, so okay. I'm done. And just when you think things can't get any worse, things are about to get a little bit more stupider. Stepping on my shoe, trying to put them on, stepping on it. My foot was cold. He's like, how would you like it if I did the shoe? I was like, here, take my shoe. Take my thousand dollar shoe. Go ahead and step on it. Jesse claims that Darcy threw her shoe at him. And all I can think of is this. What? No. Hey. You lie. Jesse says he doesn't feel safe anymore and goes to a hotel. I would not be sitting here if I would had that Louis Vuitton in my eye. I just have one question for you, Jesse. Are you the drama? Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. So when does this relationship finally end? Jesse flies home to Amsterdam and they are still somehow together, but he flies back just to break up with her. I am in New York, and I am here to break up with Darcy. Darcy and her sister got in a fight, and the cops were called. And apparently that was the nail in the coffin for Jesse, and he was very upset. I found out through social media that she got arrested the other day for hitting her sister. So upset that he made sure to fly all the way to New York to dump Darcy on television. You don't love me. You never did, you liar! Get out of my life!
I felt really bad, but I also blame myself, right? Maybe I didn't do my due diligence or asking the right questions, right? I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. So after everything that happened, he had to find a way to get back on TV. I'm glad that it, it, it went the way it went because I kind of needed these experiences to be like, hey, what do I really want? Instead of popping back into shows to talk about Darcy, he found a way to be a main character on The Single Life. In three days, I uh, am going to meet someone that I've been trying to meet for over a year now. Oh, wow. And then, uh, you know, kind of like have the first date, I guess. Sorry, ladies, the date is with neither of you. Jesse's talking about another former 90 Day cast member, Jennifer. She's a model and single mom from Colombia. Jennifer and Tim were in the third season of Before the 90 Days. I want you to conquer me. I don't want you to think I'm just here for sex. And they pretty much fought the entire time they were on the show. I was over you, trying to kiss you, trying to be in sweet with you, and you just suddenly changed in the bed like this and it started to be another person. But Jennifer hopes that this time will be different with Jesse. I wrote a message to him, but he didn't respond. It took him an entire year to respond. I'm going to take a wild guess here that Jennifer wrote a second message that said, Hey, want to get back on 90 Day Fiancé with me? And then Jesse suddenly responded real quick. And then we start talking. Jennifer and Jesse have been talking online for over a year, and now they're about to meet in person. In this year that we've been talking, I have seen another man. His name is Kakwap. So to make this less boring, the show has thrown in a typical I have a secret storyline. If everything gets more serious, of course that I will have to be honest. But I don't know how Jesse is going to react when I tell him the truth. After watching Jesse throw tantrums for a few seasons, I'm thinking he won't take it well. Don't waste that. Don't waste that. And this is Jennifer's other man. They've been friends since high school and have been dating. But Jennifer is about to end the dating part right now. I kind of like let him on. But... Kakwa and I really never were in a boyfriend and girlfriend. She tells him that Jesse's coming into town and she wants to see where that relationship goes. She says she doesn't want an encounter between the two men because it'll cause issues, which now means that there is a 100% chance that that will happen. Ha sido una ilusión. Ojalá salga como se quiere. Ojalá. Estoy seguro que no. Oh, babe. Jesse has arrived and their first meeting is a bit awkward. And Jennifer is worried that they didn't kiss. That had to be some sort of warning. This is a reminder to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, Big Ed will appear in your window tonight. You're my best view. Jennifer has a beautiful energy, so pure, so authentic but I'm trying to be patient with the sexual chemistry. Which makes for a very awkward car ride. That is just something that I didn't expect. They finally arrive to the hotel and get ready for their first date. Go. So let's go, Amor, yeah, and let's uh, go. yeah. When I saw his suit, I thought they were going to a fancy club or something, but they don't. Their specialty is like meat. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, meat. I swear Jesse is trolling us again with this sentence. I love, uh, I love a good steak. He has to be in on the joke by having a problem with yet another steak. Did, did you get raw, actually? Hmm? Did you get raw? Because mine is raw. Or maybe the producers are just messing with him? I don't know, something's going on. Maybe. I didn't get what I want. I got yeah, some weird were. drink. This is my first time here, too. He sends the steak back, and I'm waiting for him to lose it. There is a dog in this restaurant, and Jesse is dressed like he's hosting the Oscars. This uh, place is not okay. By now, Jennifer has picked up on the fact that Jesse is not easy to please. I really like Ruth because it's our first date. He does stay relatively calm, though, and they finish their date and head back to the hotel. Let's, uh, let's have a little drink, wind down, relax. Yeah. Let's do some yoga. I wasn't sure where this was going, but they end up making out. And stuff. 
So is this all for an extra 15 minutes of fame, or do these two really have a connection? Let me know what you think. I think it's all for show. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!